Welcome to episode 196 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burnett, Apartment Hacker. It's my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. Tonight, I have a question from a viewer. And the question goes like this. Aren't there places for different personalities in different or same roles in the property management business? And I think the real essence of this question is, are there places in our business for those personality types that are a bit more reserved or uh, introverted in nature versus extroverted and type A personalities. Is there a place in the multifamily business for those people? Um, so let me start by saying, absolutely. I am an extreme introvert. And for those of you in the business uh, that have met me or know me, you would probably say not a chance on the planet Earth are you an introvert or a person who is more reserved, or your personal hell is a crowd, absolutely it is. It is hard work for me to be extroverted or to play around in a crowd or be in a scene. It sucks the life out of me to be in that place. But I can tell you this, it is a learned behavior to excel in the multifamily space in the sense of being in the crowd right, or to be extroverted, or to be uh, thought of as someone who is outgoing when you're not, and that's okay. And we could go down this path, I could, I could take a path or a turn right now and go down the path of, am I putting on a facade? Some would argue that I'm putting on a facade. Maybe I am, but I learned how to do it such that I could be successful in this space because at the core of who I am, I love to work and I love this business and my expression of myself, my truest and highest and best self aside from my family, my wife who is, God bless her, the most amazing person on this planet earth. I love her to death and my children love them to death. They are incredible people because of my wife but I'm not that person that is extroverted and outgoing. I, I potentially put on this facade for the multifamily space. But I would tell you that anyone out there in this space can do the exact same thing and be successful. Not inauthentic, just a learned behavior, in my opinion. I would maybe put it to you like this. Every single day, a gazelle and a lion wake up in the jungle. Right? Every single day, a lion, type A personality in the multifamily space, and a gazelle, maybe a little more reserved, but still fast, still quick of wit, wakes up in the jungle. Guess what? You don't have to be the lion. You don't have to be the pride of the jungle. You don't have to be the person that every single person in the multifamily space looks to and looks at in order to be successful. You just have to be faster and wittier than the slowest or the fastest lion, right? You can do that. Maybe I put it to you another way. If you're of the Christian faith, it's, it's your father's stage, right? It's your father's stage. And you're famous in his eyes, right? Not to get Christian or bring Christianity or religion into this, but it is that, right? It's his stage. <laughs> and you're famous in his eyes. So if you believe in that faith, if you adopt that faith in your life, guess what? You can be successful in any space that you wanna be successful in. You just have to believe that you can be. To make a, a sports analogy out of it, right? It's, you're on the same freaking court that every one of those type A personalities are in this business. Same freaking court, you are. You put yourself in a position to be on the same court as the Michael Jordans of the multifamily space. And guess what? There were other almost as great as Michael Jordans in the NBA. Almost as great as the Peyton Mannings in the NFL. Almost as great as the King Griffey Juniors of the NBA, right? Or MLB. Forgive me. You put yourself on the same stage. And by default, in my opinion, you surround yourself with those kind of people, those people that inspire. 
you have every chance in the world to be successful at any position in the multifamily space right up to the president of an organization. I believe that in my heart of hearts. I'm driving for that in my lifetime. Not because I have to prove something in myself, but because I love this business so much and I want to influence the masses in that type of role, building an organization or being a part of building an organization. So the bottom line answer to your question in this video got really, really long and I apologize for that is absolutely. There is a space for every single person in this industry. And don't fall into the trap of guys like me saying that it's all about the sexy or the bubbly or the big personalities in the leasing roles or the assistant roles, or the property management roles. That's great. Those, those folks who are pretty and beautiful and uh, of good wit and good mind, they do very well in this business, no doubt about it. But guess what? The mild, conservative uh, person who is of less beauty, less whatever, all that crap that the, that the world pays attention to, they are just as successful. If not more, if not more successful. Believe it here, but more importantly, believe it here, right here in your heart. And go for it every single day of your lifetime if you want to be successful in the space, not just this space, any space, any place in your life, be it a good father, a good husband, a good leader, a good civic uh, participant, uh, a good uh, participant in your church, whatever, whatever it is, just go, just do, just believe that you can. Take care. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.